Chapter 1141, To Strike a Stone with an Egg. The situation had reached a deadlock. U Iron Rock was unable to step down and matters could explode at any moment. One didn't need eyes to see that U Iron Rock had already been ruined. In terms of wealth, he had been oppressed by Lin Ming, this brat. Could he have had some fortuitous encounter and picked up some massive treasure? U Iron Rock's thoughts raced. And at this time, a true essence sound transmission sounded out in his ears, coming from Mr. Wu. Young Master Yu, it looks like we really ran into an idiot this time. That boy clearly wants a little girl no matter what, whether he is some fool who is overcome by sympathy or because he really desires that violet sunstone embryo. This is an extremely rare opportunity to meet such a dumb and rich brat. How about we knock him down a notch, what do you say? Yu Iron Rock was startled and then immediately understood that Mr. Luo wanted him to join forces and put out a fake price. Putting out a false price wasn't easy. Moreover, this was a matter that involved his face. If Lin Ming put out an incredibly high price then he could easily withdraw and then taunt Lin Ming with several words, letting him know that he was only playing him. If this happened, then not only would he regain any face he lost, but he would also be able to maliciously kick Lin Ming into a trap. This was something that he would love to do. Fine. However, I want 30% of the extra money. Well. Okay. Mr. Luo hesitated for a moment before agreeing. Young Master Luo. I think that this brat's limit should be 700-800 million. This is a once in a thousand year chance. Young Master Luo should try to raise the price as high as possible. If we don't kick him down then that would truly be an injustice to him. Mr. Luo and Yu Iron Rock spoke extremely quickly with true essence sound transmissions. Although Mo Ever Snow was watching all of this from within the magic cube, it was impossible for her to hear true essence sound transmissions. But, ever since becoming a soul force, her soul sense had become extremely sharp. Although she could faintly see fluctuations of true essence, that was only a slight awareness that she couldn't confirm. At this time, Yu Iron Rock said, Lin Ming, since you want to fight with me then so be it. I will show you today just how wealthy my Yu family is. 350 million. It was already bizarre for the price to reach this level. This type of wealth was not something that a junior disciple should possess, much less for a little girl who didn't have any known practical use or value yet. Lin Ming's eyes turned cold. He desolately said, 400 million. Yu Iron Rock seemed to hesitate for a moment then sneered, how brave. Let me see just how far you can follow me. 500 million. Lin Ming's eyebrow arched upwards. He was originally intending to call out 600 million but he didn't say anything. He had certainly seen the sudden change in Yu Iron Rock's attitude. If he thought about it there was definitely some problem here. Lin Ming, they're joining together to play you. Mo Ever Snow said to Lin Ming, I felt it. Lin Ming slowly gripped his fists together. After all, this was the strange and unfamiliar immemorial imperial city and he had repeatedly shown forbearance. He had put forth a price of 300 million but now these people tried to take him as a fool and bully him around. If he allowed himself to be freely butchered like this then he really would be a fool. How is it? Can't follow me? How weak? Ahaha. Ha. Weren't you so rampant just now and double the price wise? How come you don't have the guts to double the price again? If you dared to do that I would immediately give her to you. But. Do you have this courage? Hee <laughs> hee. Since you dare to show off in front of me then you might as well admit defeat. Tuck your tail between your legs and scurry off back to the hole you came from. You Iron Rock saw that Lin Ming was hesitating and putting forth a higher bid and tried to goad him to bid once more. He had already decided that no matter what price Lin Ming put forth, he would withdraw from this bidding war and have Lin Ming be played. Lin Ming sneered upon hearing Yu Iron Rock's words. His eyes revealed contempt as he said, How shameless, to think someone as shameless as you exists. 500 million? As if you could take that out? You want to gather together to play me, treating me like a fool. Lin Ming directly cut to the point and touched his spatial ring. Yu Iron Rock's complexion changed as anger swelled within him. However, he was stopped by Mr. Luo. Mr. Luo said to him with a true essence sound transmission, Young Master Yu, don't be angry. Remember, harmony brings wealth. Mr. Luo then turned to Lin Ming and said, Lin Ming, you can eat whatever you want but you can't say whatever you wish. Our gang has always been upright and honorable in our business dealings. Just what do you intend by slandering us? As he spoke to here, he shot a glance at the spatial ring on Lin Ming's right hand. He sneered, What, did you want to fight? You can try. But I guarantee you that you will not be able to leave here. This is my domain and I uphold the rules here. In this trade fair, the prices are always high. If you want to buy something then you must call out the price. Young Master Yu has already bid 500 million. If you have money then you can add on another 100 million and perhaps this little girl will be yours. Mr. Luo had already discovered that the violent sunstone embryo was extremely important to Lin Ming and had seized on this weakness. He didn't believe that Lin Ming would be able to do anything to him. After all, this was his territory and Lin Ming only had a ninefa cultivation. No matter how great his background was, it was impossible for a strong dragon to suppress a snake in its haunt. Powerful outsiders simply couldn't suppress local gangsters, so what could Lin Ming do? No matter where people were, they would always suppress outsiders. Moreover, this matter involved Yu Iron Rock and that meant he would have the support of the Yu family, so this Mr. Luo didn't fear Lin Ming at all. At this time, Lin Ming revealed a cold smile. His words contained a thick killing intent as he said, Since that's the case, let me fulfill your hopes. Lin Ming suddenly swiped his spatial ring. The phoenix blood spear flourished in the air. Bang! With a loud explosion, the chair behind Lin Ming was crushed by a current of true essence. Zayu. Lin Ming's spear thrust out, stabbing towards Mr. Luo's forehead. You blind and reckless brat. You are seeking your own death. Mr. Luo was originally a bit cautious of the Holy Land level influence that might exist behind Lin Ming, but he never thought that Lin Ming would suddenly attack him here. 
If he dared to attack an early divine transformation martial artist then there really wouldn't be anyone who could save him. This was because once Lin Ming attacked, they would occupy the moral superiority. Even if Lin Ming had the full support of a holy land behind him, it was impossible for them to pursue this matter. Ha ha, if you want to then no one can save you. You Iron Rock laughed. His right foot stepped forwards and the ground beneath him exploded. He had already acted ahead of this Mr. Luo and punched out towards Lin Ming. After being crushed by Lin Ming in terms of wealth, he had already suppressed the raging fires in his heart until now. Although he had put up a fake price to regain some faith later, there were still some sharp and discerning people that were able to see through the little show he and Mr. Luo had put on. If they really compared wealth then he was far inferior to Lin Ming. Just what sort of arrogant person was you Iron Rock? It was impossible for him to remain happy after being suppressed by an outsider like this. He was hoping to find some sort of turning point to regain his momentum. And now Lin Ming had pulled out his spear, an action he was all too happy to see. You Iron Rock didn't even use a weapon. He relied on just his physical body to punch out. At the same time, he opened the first four of the eight inner hidden gates, causing his physical strength to shoot up. When combined with his inner true essence, he was like a wild tiger from a mountain, seething with killing intent. With a series of banging sounds, all of the furniture in the hall was completely crushed by Yu Iron Rock's fist wind. As Lin Ming stabbed at Mr. Wu, Yu Iron Rock had actually attacked him from the right side. Lin Ming's eyes flashed with a cold light. Not only did he not stop his spear attack, but he also released a hand and punched out at Yu Iron Rock. At the same time that he attacked Mr. Wu, he also dared to divide his focus and attack Yu Iron Rock. This shocked all of the martial artists present. Lin Ming only had a ninth stage life destruction cultivation and Yu Iron Rock was a top early divine sea genius. Although that Mr. Luo was not some peerless genius, for better or worse he was still an early divine transformation master. He surpassed Lin Ming by an entire boundary. In this case, Lin Ming simultaneously attacked two people. What sort of bravado was this? Moreover, the way he attacked Yu Iron Rock was fist to fist. He didn't use a weapon but only relied on his physical body to meet Yu Iron Rock in a head-on contest of strength. But everyone present knew that Yu Iron Rock was a dual cultivation system master. His body was incomparably hard. Yu Iron Rock demonically grinned. A little firefly dares to compete against the splendor of a moon. Let me crush you into paste. Fist truling the world. What you Iron Rock used was a martial skill that combined both body and energy. His fist became bright like a shining sun, glowing with endless golden light. At this time, Lin Ming roared out. All six gates opened within him. The heretical god force erupted, and the blood of the ancient phoenix combusted. Celestial tired manual. Hundred layered waves. Ka ka ka. Lin Ming's fist began to emit explosive crackling sounds. His skeleton had 72 dragon bone relics fused into it. It was harder than divine metal. In a fist to fist collision. Lin Ming's fist smashed into Yu Iron Rock's like this. With a loud cracking sound, a completely unexpected event occurred. Yu Iron Rock's fist, wrist, and all the bones within them were directly pulverized by Lin Ming's fist. Four ordinary human bones to compete with Lin Ming's dragon bone relic infused bones. The results could be imagined. Moreover, this person still lacked two gates compared to Lin Ming. The gate of opening and the gate of view. As for Lin Ming's fist smashing into Yu Iron Rock's fist, it was like an iron hammer pounding against a tomato. Half shattered bone stabbed out from Yu Iron Rock's torn skin. His fist had become a pile of mush. Shock filled his face. And, as Lin Ming crushed past Yu Iron Rock's fist, his fist wind continued forward and struck Yu Iron Rock's chest. The nearly 20 million gen eruption of strength had increased by several times through the support of the hundred layered waves. In that instant, Yu Iron Rock felt as if a mountain had crashed into his chest. He emitted a miserable cry and flew backwards, crashing against the far wall. The stone building that was supported by an array formation began to collapse. And at this time, Lin Ming's attack still hadn't finished. His phoenix blood spear pierced towards Mr. Luo as before. The sudden change had completely surpassed everyone's expectations. All of the young elites present were dumbfounded. Yu Iron Rock, someone who trained in the body transformation technique and had a body as tough as steel, actually suffered such a miserable fate after meeting Lin Ming in a head-on battle of toughness. In front of Lin Ming, Yu Iron Rock's body transformation technique was nothing at all. It was like using an egg to strike a stone. This. How could this happen? Does Lin Ming also dual cultivate in body and energy? Moreover, his dual body and energy cultivation is impossibly fierce. The many young elites present didn't have time to think much on this, because at this time, Lin Ming's phoenix blood spear had already pierced towards that Mr. Luo. 